Welcome back. Today we're going to be reading actually another Eric Carle book. Um, this is written and illustrated by Eric Carle and it's called The Very Quiet Cricket. And we are reading it with permission from Philomel Books. And like The Very Lonely Firefly, it has some facts about crickets. So there are 4,000 different kinds of crickets. Some live underground, others above. Some live in shrubs or trees, and some live in water. Both fe male and female crickets can hear, but, the, but only the male cricket can make a sound. By rubbing his wings together, he chirps. Some people say that it sounds like a song. Hmm, interesting. All right, let's read our book. One warm day from a tiny egg, a little cricket was born. Now, in the Very Lonely Firefly book, that firefly was born, but he was born at night. This is born in the morning. Welcome, chirped a big cricket, rubbing his wings together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened. Not a sound. Good morning, whizzed a locust, spinning through the air. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened. Not a sound. Hello, whispered a praying mantis, scraping its huge front legs together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened. Not a sound. Good day, crunched a worm, munching its way out of an apple. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. Hi, bubbled a spittle bug, slurping in a sea of froth. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. Good afternoon, screeched a cicada, clinging to a branch of a tree. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. How are you, hummed a bumblebee, flying from flower to flower. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened. Not a sound. Good evening, whirled a dragonfly, gliding above the water. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened. Not a sound. Good night, buzzed the mosquitoes dancing around among the stars. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. Ooh. A luna moth sailed quietly through the night, and the cricket enjoyed the stillness. As the luna moth disappeared silently into the distance, the cricket saw another cricket. She too was a very quiet cricket. Then he rubbed his wings together one more time. And this time he chirped the most beautiful sound that she had ever heard. The